I make comparison to Thailand mm -hmm. because last year I was staying in Thailand and it's more comparable to my country. Uh -huh. And what I find amazing here is the community. I mean, look at this kid. Yeah, it's amazing. It's so much talent, so much people wanting to do cycling. But hey, what's up? Welcome to another vlog. I'm heading to Cebu City, which is a bit counterintuitive since I live in the south. And why would I cycle? In in the dense traffic of Metro Cebu but I am about to meet a subscriber, a friend, a follower who's from Belgium considering how big cycling is in Belgium uh, a lot of the cycling greats including Eddie Merckx and our current world champion Remco Evenepoel is from Belgium it's an honor and I'm quite flattered to be honest to have someone from Belgium watch my channel so uh, we'll go ahead and meet him today All right, so the plan is to ride uh, to tops or top of Cebu if you've watched my vlog recently I might really struggled with steep uphills because uh, my gear ratio is for flat and non hilly rides and then you couple that with the fact that I'm riding with someone I'm riding with someone whose um, national sport is cycling and also couple that with the fact that I did a very long trail run yesterday and uh, I did a strength workout in the gym earlier today uh, needless to say the legs are smashed but I'm excited to meet him <laughs> and um, it's going to be an interesting ride to say the least and also Elmer Navarro is going to be riding with us if you know Asai then you know <laughs> There he is, and there they are. That is what pain looks like for the day. Hey mate, Finally. what's up? What's up yeah, man? what's up? I'm good, good. Finally to meet you, it's nice. <laughs> and someone joined the party. More pain. <laughs> Tire. Yeah, look. As long as it's still okay, I will go down to GY uh -huh. and wait for you guys. I just go down now because then uh, I don't want you to change my tubular, it's too much time. Uh, so let's keep going and uh, how are you? As you want, actually. Actually, the flat tire means, means, huh? means rest for me. <laughs> um, sucks, Roman had a. Uh, Flat tire. We were riding pretty good. Uh, the first 500 meters of uh, Budlaan, we were riding 5 watts per kilo and then a little over 4 watts per kilo after that. So we are riding pretty well until he had a flat tire on his tubular. Uh, apparently his first flat tire in his stay here in Cebu. Which kind of sucks. But uh, we're close to the top so we're riding to the top. We're gonna change his tubular. We have, we brought some spares and then uh, we'll see after that. For a guy who's 6'5". 83 kilos even though he says he's a sprinter and not a climber the dude can climb well oh, what do you expect he's from belgium so the guy can ride a bike it's worth noting i was riding around 300 watts earlier in uh, budlaan in the budlaan section so pretty much means that the guy is riding around 400 watts just to keep up guy is a beast so good thing his flat wasn't like totally flat so he was able to ride up until here in Boak so we can fix his uh, tubular ah oh, right it's flat and there is like small holes uh -huh. and you go 45 50 beam in the hole like crazy you know never flat never ride flat I know I, I know I, I'm climbing very slow I'm climbing very slow 10 <laughs> <laughs> and I have flat, it's crazy. Pile height, Nemo. I believe in. 
5'11, you're 5'11 and <laughs> oh, yeah, you, you look small. <laughs> nah. You're tall, but for me, you're a baby, you know? <laughs> I know for a fact that the Netherlands doesn't have any like big hills or mountains, but how, in Belgium, do you have like big no, hills? No, we have good. I mean, you know Liege, Bastogne Liege. Yeah, Liege. yeah, 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 yeah. That's a lot of hills. Yeah, yeah. But, yeah. but something like this, we don't have in Belgium. Like 10 kilometers, no, we don't have. Mm. But I like climbing, I like climbing too. But I'm just not made for it. I mean, look at me. <laughs> this is not legs for climbing. <laughs> that, that, <laughs> this kid. <laughs> yeah, this is uh, in Iros. <laughs> it should not be in Dianos, it should be in Iros. Oh, uh, yeah. <laughs> All right, so what's the biggest difference in the cycling scene here in Cebu versus like uh, Belgium? I, I, I uh, no, you know what? I make comparison to Thailand. Mm -hmm. Because last year I was staying in Thailand and it's more comparable than my country. Uh -huh. And what I find amazing here is the community. I mean, look at this kid. Yeah. It's amazing. It's so much talent, so much people wanting to do cycling. But apart from the nice organization in the race, in the uh -huh. morning, the criteriums, what can you do for cycling? It's too much traffic. Yeah, yeah. The road is bad. Uh, Better community, but just less, less roads to ride. Yeah, the community is amazing, but no road to ride. Mm. If, if all the community of Cebu was in Chiang Mai, in Thailand, yeah, you will have much more uh, pro riders and stuff. Because cool. you know, the training is not good enough. And I, we, we are used to going like in circles here. Yeah, exactly. And you, you know when I see Jonel and Jonel. Elmer, how much, how much Jonel is training uh -huh. you know, in a road like this, I think the guy is crazy. You know? <laughs> yeah, yeah, because it's, you need to be so motivated. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Always, yeah, that's always true. Always the same role. Yeah. You have to be like mentally strong. Mentally strong, yeah, yeah. 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 All right, so unfortunately they fixed the tire, so we're gonna go. We're gonna need to go up there. <laughs> Yeah, 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 of course. If you are still up for it. I wanna be the best in the game, invest in my name Check no restraints, I'm obsessed with the pain I ingest, I retain, assess and I change Possessed by the thought I'll be free one day From society's restraints, money, clout and fame Mud disease, a plague we all love to hate Have to play the game, have to make a name All our insecurities are on This display. is war with the enemy Think that it was meant to be Living in a time where disease is on every screen I won't let them fester me I know most are festering I'm too, I'm too fat. I got some gun. I'm too fat for fish. <laughs> Can't stop it. It's been chronic since I was a boy. So neurotic and chaotic. Go. To last with the webs I'm weaving, I can change the past with all I'm achieving. Got my foot on gas, never stop competing. If you break like glass, then this life's gonna eat 'em. Make mistakes real fast, then you learn how to beat 'em. If you take off the cast, you can see all the healing. If the pain's in the past, move on from the grave and put your foot on the gas. No, never stop competing. Yeah. Hey. XL? XL, yeah, yeah. I have a funny story. So, classic uh, So, before the pandemic, uh -huh. I was already living in Cebu, and uh, one time I go to I go to Taiwan with my girlfriend, and uh, I wanted to buy Giant, the Giant Propel. Yeah. You know, and uh, and because it's from Taiwan, I thought like it would be less expensive, mm -hmm. and it was crazy like in my country. <laughs> In my country, it's like three thousand dollars, and here it was in Taiwan. It was two thousand two hundred. Uh -huh. So it's a big difference. Yeah, yeah. And I go to I go to big Taiwan uh, shop in Taipei, uh -huh. the capital, and I say, hey, I, I will buy it. I like I'm, I really want it. Blah blah. And they look at me and say, Yeah, but maybe maybe you're too tall. And I say, Yeah, but come on, uh, the, it's, it, the frame is made in Taiwan, so yeah. you can have it for me. And they say, Yes, sir, but we are sorry. No. The XL frame, we don't keep it in yeah. Taiwan. We just send it to US and to Europe. <laughs> <laughs> it's impossible to buy here. <laughs> so when I go back to Europe, I buy this one. This is actually the first time I, I've seen that bike. Van... Yeah. I, I, if you go to France, it's quite famous. Yeah. Because it's the it's the brand of Decathlon. Ah, okay. It's okay. the premium premium of Decathlon. Mm -hmm. And Van Riesel, 
that means from Lille. Ah. And Lille is where the brand Tegathlon ah. was created. Ah, okay. And they, they, they assemble the bikes there. Yeah, yeah. But yeah, you never see this in, in Asia normally. The difference in Chiang Mai and here is just the, the roads. The roads. Yeah, the you roads have, and the traffic. You, you have more the, variety there? Because in Chiang Mai you also have a lot of traffic. Uh -huh. But there is only way, like if there is three ways, for example, the, the, the way on the on the on the side uh -huh. is always for motorbike and, and bicycle ah, I see. and people walking. So it means that when you do cycling there is always one side of the road only for you. Ah that's cool. You know? So I hope the Philippine government is watching this vlog. Yeah. That, that's the biggest difference. You have like flat roads to ride there compared to here. We, yeah, we also yeah, but you, you also have flat if you stay by the uh, yeah. by the sea, but it's too dangerous with the Yeah. Traffic. Since we're here in Busai, might as well stop by at the biggest uh, cycling stop here in Busai. Gas lamp district. <laughs> I wake up to a little bit of drool on my pillow, feel like it's gonna be a bad day Yeah, I'm tired of shit, and the coffee ain't hit yet, damn, ain't that great I don't wanna go to work, cause my boss is a jerk, and I'm not even that paid I need a change in my life, cause I don't feel alive, and there's nothing that makes me happy Oh, uh, Hold my beer for a minute, I'm about to quit my job, cash in for a ticket I'm going on a trip, and I don't plan to visit, I'm gonna stay there till I feel like I'm winning all oh, and this is just the beginning. I need a big right, change. So be finally able to ride with Roman from Belgium. Uh, we've been in contact uh, several months ago, but unfortunately, I was doing uh, the last few triathlon races uh, for me this year, so we weren't really able to ride together. But uh, it's so great to have to have him on this vlog and get his uh, perspective, or, or get the perspective of someone from Belgium whose national sport is cycling and uh, have it compared to what we do here in Cebu. So I find it quite interesting and inspiring that he said that we do have the right culture here in Cebu for cycling. We just, we just don't have the proper roads or the proper support of the government, but, but I think we are heading at the right direction. So uh, as you can see, horrendous traffic, good thing. Uh, I stopped by for dinner at Barbecue 88. Lamig lang food, guys. If you're in the area, if you're like me, who's stuck in traffic in Pardo, especially if you're not on a bike, this is super, super horrendous. Might as well stop by for dinner at Barbecue 88. Lamig lang food, guys. Okay, so before we end this vlog, uh, I want to send a huge shout out and thank you to uh, Team Indianos and of course to Elmer Navarro for riding with us. I want to send a thank you to uh, Roman Briquette or I hope I did not butcher your name. Uh, to Roman, thank you so much for riding with us and, and for sharing your wisdom and thoughts on, regarding on how cycling here in our little island. And let me also uh, get the opportunity to say thanks to my sponsors, Greystone Farm, Liver RDJ, and uh, Capiz Shell Furniture and Barbecue 88 for supporting this channel. If you do wanna support this channel, please do give me a DM in my socials or you can just leave a like and a comment. It will really, really help my channel out. I hope you enjoyed this one. I hope, I, I hope you enjoyed the content of this vlog. Next up is Elevate Cycling Race this Sunday. I'll see you guys there. Peace.